Welcome to Kevin's European Garage. And today, I'm really excited to say that I've hit my first 1,000 subscribers. So thank you very much for supporting me and supporting my channel and all the little things I do between working on the Cayenne, my 911, and also my Mini parked outside. So thank you very much. And today, what I'm going to be doing is working on the Cayenne over here, which it's been a little while since I've done a video. And I'm just going to be changing the dry belt, doing something that I've been meaning to do now for about, oh, I don't know how long. It's been a while. So let's get started. So today I plan on changing the dry belt on this car. I've had this belt for almost a year now just sitting there. I figured, you know, this thing has got the original belt, or at least what I think is the original belt on this. I'm like, you know, one day in the future it's going to start cracking. You know, that day hasn't come. It's still not cracked or anything. It's still in good shape. But you know, since I've had this thing sitting around for such a long time, I figured I might as well just put it on there and uh, make a video for you guys to see how to do this. All right, first we want to remove this cover over here. Let's see if they can take it off without having to remove the oil, the oil cap. And they don't have to. It just clips right on over here. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is remove this pipe. And also to increase access, we're actually going to take off the cover off of the air filter too. these two clips up and then on the connector over here all right so you pull this little tab back over here push down squeeze this out you've already pulled up the clips over here and then you just slide this thing up also before you do that you're gonna have to take off this clip that's over here if you uh, already haven't pulled this thing off once before it's stuck on the bottom I never put it back on because it is a pain and the cable stays pretty stable without it being on there I haven't had an issue with it all right, so here's the belt over here, and I got really good access. You can see mine over here, it doesn't have any cracks in it or anything. With the V6, it's pretty easy to check. You got a lot of room over there to take a look down there. So just keep an eye on yours and make sure this doesn't have any cracks. Over here, we got your main crank. This over here is the water pump. All the way down to the bottom is your power steering pump. Then you have your AC pump, and then right above it, you have your alternator. So the best thing to do is to take a picture to make sure that you know how to route this belt. Or you can write it down on a piece of paper, kind of draw it out or something like that, just so you don't have any issues when you're trying to put this thing back on. It's just got some weird routing, and uh, it's not like some belts where the ribs are only on one side. This thing is dual ribbed. It's got ribs on both sides, so this thing is a little different. Now it's time to remove the belt. All right, so this is the tension over here. So what I'm doing is putting a 17 millimeter socket on there and I'm using a breaker bar so I can get a little leverage on it. This thing, if the tensioner is in good shape, it's gonna have a, it's gonna have a fair amount of pressure on it. And this has a fair amount of pressure. So then I just wanna press down on this and reach down and I'm taking the belt off the idler pulley. And that's that. You also have to keep the pressure down on it when you're trying to take them off. And now that we get the belt completely loose, what we're gonna do over here is because this thing sits behind this pulley over here, I mean, you probably could sneak it out and give that a try. If not, we're just gonna remove the tensioner. Let's see, might be able to get this without having to take the tensioner off. And there you go, the belt is off and if you look at it you can see some glazing some very fine cracking just starting uh this thing could definitely go on for a little while longer you can really see the difference on the new belt this new belt is kind of 
filthy feeling. It's definitely you don't have it doesn't have a shine to it. It's kind of soft. So now let's put the new belt on. I'm just gonna drop the belt down in. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get it onto that tensioner pulley. I'm just gonna push down on this until we get it behind it and lift up. All right, so that's kind of in place. And then now we'll just kind of start guiding it around. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go underneath the either pulley, then up to the top on the AC. That brings us all the way down to the power steering. And then now we'll bring it around the water pump. Up on top of the crank. You gotta slide it underneath the crank. It's got like a little lip on there that you have to kind of get underneath. It's probably a bolt that's stopping it. And hopefully your arms are skinnier than mine and you can reach down there more easier than I can. So we try to get it around the bottom. Actually, we're gonna take it off the top of the alternator here. And we're just gonna go around the bottom over here. Okay, hopefully this will give you a little better view. What we need to do is I'm gonna put leave the uh, alternator one for last because that's nice and easy. It's on the top, it's pretty easy to get to. So we're gonna finish rolling these around the rest of them. So right now I have it up and around the crank, but the crank between here and the power steering pump has gotta come up. We have to go above the AC and then around the power steering pump. If you got smaller hands, this is gonna be a much easier job than me. So now I'm going to pull up on the belt and I'm going to get some tension on it. I'm going to slide it into the front of where the alternator is. All right, so I'm going to put back on the socket and use the breaker bar. I'm going to slowly lift up this belt while I'm still trying to keep some sort of tension on it so it doesn't pop off any of the other pulleys. So here's the belt. It's kind of in place right now. Now I can move this tensioner. Fortunately, this belt is getting hung up over here. Every single time I push it down, I'm not getting any slack on it. And of course, it popped off of the other pulley over here. Ah, maybe that's a trick. All right, well, it's on there. Give my hand a little bit of a rest. Just gonna go and make sure that all the ribs are in the right spot. You can see the either pulley right now, it's definitely not lined up properly. So we're just gonna push that on. All right, so that's locked in place now. Check out the alternator, that looks good. My power steering one is not completely in the right spot, so I'll have to fix that. Water pump is good. Switch all the way down. Make sure that idler is in. All right, so idler pull is done. The power steering pump is done. The AC, that's routed correctly. The alternator is correct. Your tensioner pulley over here, that's done. How it wraps around the water pump, that is good. And uh, last thing to check is just to make sure it's wrapped around the crank pulley properly. Luckily enough, it's got a pretty big lip on one side. So as long as it looks like it's good, you can feel it on both sides coming out, I think you'll be all set. All right, so this belt is on here. It's a little bit of a pain. I mean, luckily enough, you have pretty decent access to it. You know, you've got, uh, <laughs> you've got seven pulleys to go around. So it takes a little bit of effort to kind of get it. I will leave this idler pulley over here for last. Uh, let's see if I can get better light on it. Right over here, this one for last. And that's what I would do. All right, so now it's time to put the ear intake back on and the cover. So you got three slots. They're gonna accept these three tabs that stick out over here. So you put that down in first. Make sure you line up the ribs. And just kind of give it a pull just to make sure that you're lined in place. Next thing you do, Put on your connector, and then lock your tab. If you can, you can try to lock the tab on this back over. But you know it's it's in such a spot that it's not easy to do. So I just been leaving it. It's been perfectly fine.
finally, we put our cover back on. And that's it, the dry belt is done. So thanks for watching Kevin's European Garage. Thanks for watching me put the dry belt on my 2013 Porsche Cayenne over here. And the next thing that I got coming up for this is gonna be a big service on the transmission. And that's a little bit lengthy. Please like, subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. And thank you to all my current subscribers for helping me get to 1,000. All right, thanks and we'll see you soon.